Joe here at ECRM's on-premise adult beverage session, and I'm with Brian Kies from Connor Concepts. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. So Brian was one of the moderators of the tip discussion that uh, focused on craft cocktail trends. So can you tell us a little bit, a quick overview of what that discussion entailed? Sure, Joe. We, we basically talked uh, initially about the fact that it's definitely a trend and an ongoing trend has been the resurgence of the old classic cocktails from the 20s and 60s, even the Prohibition mm -hmm. area. Uh, gin is very hot right yeah. now. Gin, whiskey, bourbon, uh, rye, uh, even tequila is, is making a surge right now mm -hmm. in terms of popularity. Um, visual uh, drinks. You know, people take, uh, you don't only eat with your eyes, you drink yeah. with your eyes, and everybody wants to take a picture of what they Well, that's they a huge thing, especially, are you seeing that with, like, younger, uh, you know, did you get a sense from the discussion that it was the younger generation that's kind of I pushing that? I think it's that? mostly the younger yes. generation, but even more so now becoming mm -hmm. older people are learning yeah. how to use Facebook and share mm -hmm. things, and it's become, they've learned it from a younger generation, yeah. I believe, you know. So that's going to impact how they make their cocktails. It's got to be quality. You've mm -hmm. got to have a dynamite garnish. Uh, I think, again, some people might light something on fire. Some people mm -hmm. will do a sugar rim. Uh, rosemary is a nice garnish mm -hmm. in the drink. The ice cubes nowadays are a spherical ice cube mm -hmm. in the drink or a big square, uh, just one cube maybe in the drink. Um, it's it's all very visual, and it's, it's almost a competition between people to see who can wow somewhat, out, you know, oh. out wow your competition. What kind of challenges does that pose for well, the operator? Craft cocktails by nature sometimes can take too long because mm -hmm. you have to do all these different steps. Yeah. So you have to be careful because a lot of operators are going to be committed to a two to three minute drink time. Yeah. You know, yeah. basically, mm -hmm. you know, the guest doesn't want to wait 10 or 15 minutes even though they ordered a craft cocktail. Yeah. Uh, there may be some homemade steps to it, but it needs to still get to the table mm -hmm. when the guest wants it. So we have to find ways yeah. to get it there quicker. So a lot of restaurants, it's a, probably a trend that people are making things in batches mm -hmm. rather than step by step by step. And then basically just you get the order, you pour it out of the vat, and then you'd garnish it and sell it. Do you think that some people might look at the batch ones as kind of inauthentic? You know, you're I, not seeing the show. I know? think if you're sitting at the bar, yeah. then those guests want to see things that are done. But I ultimately think if the quality of the cocktail mm -hmm. is dynamite and it tastes great, mm -hmm. it's got quality liquor in it, I'm not so sure guests care. So if they're a diner, it's okay, you know, but if they're at the bar, it's good to show well, them. Well, sometimes I even think at the bar, wow. if it's if it's got yeah. quality in it, uh, speed to me is important. Mm -hmm. I think when craft cocktails first came out, there were a lot of places that did a lot of things where it took 10 to 15 minutes, and that's just bad service. Yeah. Okay. So um, one other thing you mentioned was that you had a uh, sustainability came into play a little yeah. bit. Yeah, oh yeah. The whole straw thing mm -hmm. is a big deal. You don't want to waste anything nowadays. Mm -hmm. So so the public concern is concerned about that. So plastic straws are something that everybody needs to be thinking about. It's a definite trend, something that can be thrown away mm -hmm. that is also not going to hurt the environment. Okay. And edible garnishes. There's flowers that you can put on mm -hmm. drinks that are edible and mm -hmm. very good tasting, actually. So, so lots of vegetables, lots of things going in cocktails now that are completely edible. Excellent. All right, well, thank you for moderating the, the uh, table and uh, for all that great information. Quite welcome. All right.